then there is a request by the by someone to uh, audio record, audio and video record the proceedings. I have a partial objection. I'm not sure who it is that is. The reporter's name is Karen Green. Is that the individual present? Uh, sir, would you mind coming forward to the table here? I have a no objection with regard to the defendant, and I have an objection with regard to the government. Um, uh, sir, I guess I, I don't know who are you affiliated with as a, as a news media outlet? Uh, well, I've been blogging for about a year at freeconquer.org and uh, film trials in the past. Okay. Um, what is the... There's a district court rule on this. Let me turn to that for a moment because the burden is upon the government. It's prosecutor. Um, rule 1.4. Mr. Muller? Yes, Your Honor. The government's objecting to the fact that Mr. Ian is also a co-defendant rising out of the same incident. So the government's asserting that he's not a member of the media with regards to this matter, where he might be a neutral member of the media or even a uh, non neutral member of the media in other matters. In this one, he has vested interest as a co defendant rising out of the same incident. Therefore, the government does not feel that he's appropriately classified as media in this case, and therefore, it's objecting to his reporting the matter. Do you have any legal authority for, that, for the proposition that? One vitiates their standing under the First Amendment by virtue of having charges arising out of the same out of the same uh, incident. No, sir. There's no case law that I can think of on point or case more uh, statute that I'm aware of. However, I do think this is a totally novel incident. The rule and petition of WNUR requires that the court, if it were going to prohibit this, make a series of fact findings. What are the fact findings that you would expect the court to make for review by the Supreme Court? That, the, that Mr. Ian is not a member of the media for purposes of this matter, that he's a co-defendant, therefore uh, not subject to the rule. Uh, sir, uh, I want to make sure that I give you the opportunity to be heard with regard to this. Again, I'm a, I don't know if you know any law concerning this. Uh, well, I would say that the fact that I am operating a camera in the courtroom should have no weight on Mr. Guillory's case. Uh, I'm just looking to record it and document it as a member of the press and whatever documentation I do will be going on outside of this courtroom. It isn't necessarily in any way uh, significant to the proceedings that will be going on that I'll be recording. So I don't see why it matters whether or not I'm the person who's uh, doing the recording or anyone else here might be interested in recording. And, and Mr. I'm, I'm sorry, your name is Gil? Yes, Your Honor. Um, you do not object to no, I don't. In fact, we are not technically co-defendants. We have different charges. I see. Well, argument is novel. The issue for the court would be can a fact finding that there that the individual may have charges arising out of the same incident removed from that individual his First Amendment protection as a reporter. The issue that the court has to deal with is that this individual under the right to a public trial <coughs> Even if he did not record it, the gentleman would be allowed to remain in the courtroom so long as he did not make any disruptive 
movements or sounds that would interfere with the rights of the parties. Because he could remain, he gains nothing as he could ask for a copy of the audio recording made by the court. In consequence of those points, it does not appear that I can make a series of fact findings that would be seen as the sustainable exercise of discretion under Rule 1.4 and the WMUR ruling. Therefore, uh, it's pronounced Ian? Yes. Uh, sir, I'm going to authorize the recording. I'm going to, the only things I'm going to be asking you to do is, again, I, I need quiet in the courtroom so that it does not interfere with the making of a record. And I'm going to ask you to set yourself up in a place that you're not going to move around and make noises, okay? Um, you'll be allowed to do that. And you can, if you, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure where you want to set up, but as long as there's not going to be, you're not going to move around and make noise or in any way interfere with the process, please, please feel free to set up. And I will now commence with regard to the case of State versus Gillibrand. So, sir, you, you don't have to anymore. Are the parties ready to proceed with regard to these matters? The students are ready, Your Honor. 